Of more on this development, I'm being joined by the SSA to the President on Echoes Matters, Linda Ahigwe, who joins me live from our Puja studio. It's good to have you join us on TVC News at 4. Let's talk about the financial agreement signed recently between the two regional bodies, that's the EU and Echoes. What, do, what does Echoes member nations stand to gain? Thank you so much for having me. And so looking at the ECOWAS EU agreement, the agreement was signed, you know, a few weeks ago and covers six financial agreements. This agreement covers several areas dealing with trade, mostly trade. And the whole idea is to diversify trade in the West African sub-region, increase, increase the volume of trade, remove the trade barriers, and to also enhance, you know, the import, the export capabilities of MSMEs in the West African sub-region. We know that some MSMEs, you know, find it difficult to export their goods and even services outside West Africa, outside the continent. And some of these agreements are to enhance the capabilities of these MSMEs to export their goods, you know, enhance also, you know, enhance their abilities also to negotiate through this um, cumbersome trade regulations. And so th that is one of the areas where the agreement was signed on. The agreement also covers the, the, the issue of migration of persons and persons and people around the West African sub-region, which is one of the key objectives of ECOWAS. ECOWAS has also has always wanted, you know, free movement of persons within the West African sub-region. And so financing is also going to be going into that program. And one of the ways it would be it will be achieved in that program is to educate border officials on how to on how to, you know, recognize cross-border in irregular migration in terms of trafficking in persons and exploitation of, of, of minors, as well as, you know, dealing with and uh, managing data, migration data, and also increasing the, the ability, the capability of ECOWAS itself to hold technical meetings on migration. The agreement also covers, you know, food security, issues of food security, increasing the capacity of ECOWAS member states to respond to food insecurity, mainly through increasing their capacity for storage of food in, in storage of food in case to address or to respond to food insecurity. It also covers financing in the areas of clean and sustainable cooking solutions. One of the ways it's going to be doing that is, you know, program investing on programs to ensure that more entrepreneurs get into this business of, of, of trading in clean cooking solutions in the West African sub-regions, coming out with you know, notable and innovative financing and agreements and business models to bring more entrepreneurs into this area. All right, let's talk about um, the visit of the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to ECOWAS. Now, this is the third time he will be visiting Africa, but can you tell us what Germany is really up to? Now, this visit is very, very important because we know it's meant, it was meant to fortify bilateral relations between Nigeria and ECOWAS, as well as Nigeria and Germany, as well as ECOWAS and um, Germany. And we know for some time ECOWAS and Germany have been engaged in negotiations before now. And so this visit is sort of like a follow-up in terms of those negotiations. And those negotiations are to cover several areas which ECOWAS member countries, including Nigeria is supposed to benefit from, supposed to cover the negotiations cover or the agreement and cooperation covers areas like trade, increasing trade in the West African um, sub-region, increasing issues of um, enhancing or targeting issues of gender inequality in the sub-region. And very importantly, the issue of peace and security. We know that some member countries in the West African sub-region are having issues of unconstitutional change in government and it's not just in the sub-region across even Africa and the Sahel and so this cooperation is also to enhance the capacity of ECOWAS to respond to this situation, respond to issues of maintaining peace in the West African sub-region. In about two weeks ECOWAS will be inaugurating the regional electricity market. Talk to us about the project and what the member state nation now stand to gain from this. 
So this is an innovative you know, project which ECOWAS has been working on, the ECOWAS regional electricity market. And the whole idea is to ensure that, you know, at the heart of it, to ensure effective, you know, adequate electricity supply for ECOWAS member countries, including Nigeria. It's an avenue, it's, it's, an, it's a market where ECOWAS member countries can engage in cross-border selling of electricity to enhance electricity supply. And so in a few weeks' time, on November 17, there will be the inauguration of the ECOWAS Regional Electricity Market, the Information and Coordination Center. And this event is going to bring together, is going to bring together um, governments of this um, ECOWAS member states, um, technical stakeholders in the electricity sector, ministers of electricity, all together to discuss the innovations to discuss the progress and the issues, you know, and the issues which may arise in meeting this target and solutions, prefer solutions to the electricity crisis in the West African sub-region. Linda Ahigbe, SSA to the President on ECOWAS Matters. Thank you so much for talking to us on TVC News at 4. Thank you so much for having me.